The other day, I had one of the weirdest conversations I've ever had in my life. Now, in this conversation, a few questions were asked that truthfully forever changed the way I think about my life going forward. Now, in this video, I want to share what those few questions were and how asking yourself these questions can help give you an undeniable rock, something you can rely on in your darkest times when nothing's working and you're not sure if you'll ever get out of the situation that you're in. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. I've also included a free journaling worksheet, which is the first link right in the description there. If you're struggling and trying to figure out how to get your life and your shit together, plan it going forward and figure out what you wanna do. So check it out right there in the description. So I had this conversation in a cafe and what this woman said to me was, when you've lost everything in your life, you lose all your friends, you lose all your family, you lose your career, you lose where you came from, you lose your whole identity, you lose everything in your life that held it together. Any feeling of safety and security and meaning that you could fall back on, when you lose all those things, and when the pendulum is swinging between happy and depressed and happy and depressed, what is the pendulum, what is that string, what is this fulcrum up here that actually holds your life together? So the first question is, if you lost your family, your family of origin, where you come from, who are you? You know, a girl I dated for a long time, her mom came from the Philippines and she was from the Philippines. Her mom had spent over 10 years alone. She immigrated to the United States and she had lived there 10 years by herself without her family in order to get her family, her kids and her husband into the United States. Now, that was her identity because when my girlfriend at the time would argue with her, she would get angry and she would say, I sacrificed all this for you. How dare you not do what I want you to do and go to this medical school and do this stuff. How dare you? So her mom, her identity was around her family. And that was that point of tension for her. But what if your family is gone? Or what if everybody in your family is dead and you're on the hardest time of your life and you can't rely on doing something for your family or for your kids, or you can't go back to get the support that you need. The second question is, what if you lose your work? Who are you then? I was listening to this story about a champion ice skater. Two stories, champion ice skater, champion pianist, someone who plays the piano. And one of them had actually been in such a severe car accident and one had been burned so severely that the ice skater was going to have one of her legs amputated. And the pianist had so many burns up her arms that she would never be able to play piano again. Now, both of these women had trained their whole lives for that one thing, that one big break, which was their passion and their work. That was the thread, the cornerstone, or that keystone that held their life together. And now it was gone. What happens if something happens and you can't do your passion ever again? As an artist, you can never paint or play music. As a athlete, you can never play basketball or play soccer again. Who are you without that? The third question is, when you lose the ability to function at all, like maybe there's a medical issue, who are you underneath that? I've seen some kind of crazy things now, being in the medical space. I've seen young people get ALS and in a short period of years go from being a normal, happy, functioning, talking human being to being paralyzed in a chair and being unable to speak. I mean, it's terrifying. One of the scariest things I've ever seen. I've seen young people in their 30s get terminal cancer and die. So if you have even your basic ability as an animal to move, to poop by yourself and not have somebody help you, to just walk, to be able to walk out of your apartment and go walk into the woods or walk down the street. If you lose that, how can you go on? What's the thread that holds your life together? So my ultimate question for you here is, what is the thread that holds your life together when you've lost everything that you can think of? When you've gone to such a dark place that you don't know if this will ever go away, if you can ever get out of it, if things will ever change or things will ever be different, when you've lost more than you've ever thought you could lose and things are still going bad, what holds your life together? What is the belief? What is the purpose? What is the mission? 
What holds your life together when the pendulum of your life snaps? I want to leave you with that today. And I think for a lot of people, this is where God has come into the picture, or religion, or spirituality. But I'm not going to give any answer in this video. I just want to share that at some point in your life, you're going to reach such a dark point where you don't know if you'll ever get out of it again. And there's such a deep feeling of hopelessness that you will never, ever feel that f confident feeling of faith that I can get out of this. But here's the good thing. That's not the end. It's actually the beginning. So I want to leave you with this today. When you've reached that point where you think you can't go on any further and your life's over for good, that's the beginning. Because that is where you realize the core beliefs and the core strand that holds your life together. And you can find a belief that is indestructible. Something deeper than anything physical that gives your life purpose and meaning. Something deeper that gives that feeling of your soul having purpose, even if everything is taken from you. Because there is one thing that cannot be taken from you. And I want you to find that in today's video. Alright guys, I hope that was a deep thought-provoking video. Before you go, I want you to comment there below and let me know, for you, in the darkest moments, what was the thread that held your existence together? Let me know right there below. <laughs> That's the aliens coming for me, taking me home.